and welcome back to Bio City Geeks. It's been a while. I know episode 54 is coming. However, that is not this episode. This episode uh, is our little infomercial, if you will, for Comic Palooza, Houston's biggest comic book convention. It is back this year after uh, 2020. We are back in full force. We're going to cover it. Thank yeah, you. July 17th through the 18th at the George R. Brown Convention Center, man. I can't wait to get back to a comic con. Dude, I, I've... So, so Ashley and I went to the movie theaters for the first time in a year. How did that feel? Uh, it felt right. You know, you know, it just felt right. Uh, we went to watch the the Forever Purge, which was actually really good. Um, it's, it's have you seen the TV show? I didn't see the TV show. Ashley watched the entire two seasons of it. I, Ashley loves the Purge. You know, I like I do like it. Uh, Edwin Hodge is, uh, you know, he was a part of it. You know, Frank Brio, you know, he, oh, yeah, he was no. basically the Punisher in that movie. So, um, uh, the Forever Purge. My 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 biggest concern, my biggest issue with the Purge, actually gets addressed in the Forever Purge. So it's like you know, like, so. I, I, my whole thing was you can never just stop with one night. People would take it would take over with it. Take, do like over like. You know, oh, go overboard, and that's what happens. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of like you know the forever purge. I mean, it's basically like it just goes on and on and on, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but you can definitely tell this is written during, during the Trump administration, <laughs> uh, and I'll leave it at that. So, uh, that being said, all right, so we are back to cons. We're going to okay. Confluza. We'll be it's, hopefully at Hill Country. We'll be at hopefully Hill Country. Hopefully, we'll we'll get passes for that. Um, all right, so Confluza, uh, they're coming out strong. Uh, we've got uh, from the Mandalorian, we've got G, uh, Gene Color Esposito, we've got uh, Katie Sackhoff, Carl, Carl Weathers, Ming Na Wen's coming back. Ming Na Wen was here for uh, Agents of Shield way back when. Carl Weathers yeah. returns, he was here, uh, supporting, I think it was a 40. 2015. Remember, he was um, he was doing he's doing only signing. I don't think he was taking any pictures. Yeah, he was doing uh, Rocky, yeah. which uh, that I actually Maybe like 2013. 2013. No, it was 2015. It was it was pretty it was pretty it was right before I started dating Ashley. Um, okay, yeah, then I would have been. Hmm. Then we've got uh, we got Danny Trejo. Uh, now Katie Sackhoff has been here before. Uh, I did meet her. She's a wonderful, uh, wonderfully sweet lady. Um. Actually, I think I met her with you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we met her. Yeah, because oh, wasn't she the one where the guy like, like knelt down and like uh, did the uh, Cylon oath to her? Yes. Yeah. And she mm -hmm. and she accepted it like a champ. <laughs> and uh, also, uh, what's her name? Uh, Trisha Helfer too. Yes. She's the one that we. And, uh, she's um, the one that we saw the dude get down and really break the table. Yeah, yeah. Trisha Helfer. Yeah. We talked to her about Lucifer. Yes. Yep. Michael Rosenbaum is back. We met, to... Yeah, we met him, what, 2019? 2019, yeah, right, right before COVID at Austin uh, Wizard World. Uh, he's yeah, an amazing, guy. cool dude. He and Tom Welling were great guys. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Uh, let's see, Donnie, Danny Trejo is coming here. Uh, Ron Perlman, Hellboy himself, is returning to Houston. Yes, I've met Ron Perlman outside of the uh, the Entertainment Weekly Party at the, at the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah. I have met uh, Danny Trejo. He's a great guy. His uh, little handler, not so much. Yeah, well... The handlers are a little tough. Now, from uh, the CW verse, we'll have Dominic Purcell and David Ramsey. Mm. Uh, I really want to like get uh, to kind of. I, I would love to pick Ramsey's brain about Arrow and uh, uh, John Stewart. <laughs> now, so, now from Saved by the Bell, we got Mario Lopez and Mark Paul Gosler. However, well, before you before you go into them, um, actually, David Ramsey played J.R. Richard, Houston Astros pitcher. The what, what? He played uh, J.R. Richard, the Houston what? Astros pitcher. This was back here in '99 when he did it. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. He's got a bit of history with the Houston Astros. All right. And Houston. Um. Uh, now, uh, say by the bell, Mario Lopez, Mark Paul Gossler. Now, for me, Mark Paul Gossler, while he is Zach Morris, uh, I love Franklin, Franklin Bash. Bash. Franklin Franklin yeah. Bash was the best. Damn show that got canceled, and I, I I'm pissed. I actually got to meet Breckenmeyer very briefly. He was with his wife and kids, so I didn't really 
say much to him. And then from Karate Kid and Cobra Kai, uh, Martin Cove. Uh, that'd be cool to get him on camera. And you know he's gonna. Have, they're gonna have long lines. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, they, all these lines are gonna be long. Uh, from Sabrina, Gavin Leatherwood, and uh, Tati Gabriel. Um, um, now yeah. on the on the comics uh, comic side, we'll have uh, Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman, uh, fresh off their Venom run. Now, uh, the the comic side, it's kind of light right now, so I'm wondering if they're going to be introducing people later this week. We'll have we have uh, Ariel Diaz, Matt Hawkins, president of uh, Top Cow. And then a uh, friend of the show and friend of ours, Ming Chen, will be there because it's used. Dude, we got to get him again. Oh yeah, yeah. Ming, Ming will. Plus, you, know, you remember he has that business with Hunter Pence, the Coral yeah, Sword. Yeah, Coral Sword. So. Yeah. Um. Now, and you know what? I haven't been there in a while. I haven't been there. In a while. Well, no one's been there since last year. Um. Now I will say, uh, uh legendary inker Scott Williams is coming uh, with uh, the IG Comic Store. Is bringing Scott Williams to Houston. Uh, Scott Williams, uh, if you don't know, inks all of Jim Lee's stuff. So uh, we, we, I am trying to, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get an interview with him uh, for the show. So that will be awesome. Uh, and then wrestling. Uh, what would we, what would Jason be without his wrestling? We'll have Britt Baker and Christian here. Oh, wow. Dr. Britt, <laughs> old doctor from AEW. Yep. She has really, really, really impressed me. And I've met Christian before at WrestleMania 25 weekend. However, that picture is lost. I put it up on Facebook and was right when it was pretty much when he came back to the okay. WWE from TNA. And I don't know where that picture I would love to get Britt Baker. All right. I would well, love to you get know. Him. Uh, so and I met him in the same weekend as CM Punk and Roddy Piper. Okay. Uh, and then uh, finally, voice actors uh, from Dragon Ball Z, Chris, Christopher Sabat, Sean Schimmel, who we did interview before, but the audio sucks, so let's try and do it again and not have bad audio. Although it wasn't our fault, the uh, the venue wasn't the best for interviews. And then no, finally, uh, no, John no. Swasey will be there from uh, uh, My Hero uh, Academy and Attack on Titan. Um so, uh, you know, here's the thing. I think all these guys, I think these, this is uh, insane. Pricing, uh, we actually do have pricing for some. Uh, everyone falls within the $70, $60 range. So, um, I mean, it's not bad at all. Ming, Ming Na wins, 75. Danny Cho is 50. Uh, Rosenbaum is 60, Ramsey's 50, Purcell's 50, Ron uh, Perlman 60, Mario Lopez 50, Martin Cove 50, Gavin Leatherwood 40, Mark Paul Gosser 50, Taddy Gabrielle 50, Giancarlo Esposito 60. That's actually not bad for Giancarlo Esposito. And yeah, I've actually met him, so I mean, I've met him in a hotel at uh, Comic Con, so I, I just want to. Yeah, just tell him how awesome he is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bugging yeah. out. No, you the man. No, you the man. No, you the man. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Carl Weathers, uh, he will be 70 for the for an autograph for standard on 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 uh, uh, anything flat. For premium, it is 300. And what does uh, premium get you? Premium. So so uh, it, so um, the standard autographs will be what he provides. Um, premium autographs will be action figures, masks, sports memorabilia, i.e., gloves, trunks. Film props and Funko Pops, flattened or otherwise. So even if you bring a fun a Funko Pop that has uh, flattened, it will be three hundred dollars. So ain't worth it. Well, uh, but oh, he did. Oh, mean, Christian's only forty bucks. Yeah, I plan on getting him. And Britt, how much is Britt Baker? Forty. Okay, that's good. She's not too big yet. I, I, you know, I, I won't lie. If I can find the Christian action figure of a Target, yeah, from AEW, yeah, yeah, I would, I would, one hundred percent get his autograph because I mean, I like him in WWE. I'm but to see if I can get the, if I can get those days off, man. Um, I talked to boss already this weekend, so yeah, you know, I think it'll, I think I'll probably get it off. Good. Hopefully, and then, you can, uh, you can interview Christian, man, that would be great to interview Christian and Britt Baker. And then let's see here, uh, Christopher Sabat uh, and Sean Schemmel. Uh, Sabat is fifty dollars. Um, Shemmel is forty for the 
for the autographs. Okay. So the, there you go. Uh, I mean, if you want photo ops, say by the Bell uh, photo ops, 110. The Mandalorian group is 250. Mandalorian Dark Blade, which is Giancarlo and Katie, is 130. Mandalorian Buddies, which is Carl Weathers and Ming Na Wen, is 150. Sabrina, 110. AEW is 90. So actually, you know what? How much is that's this? like in a little photo booth area, correct? What's up? I said that's in the photo booth area, correct? Yes. Or just okay. Yeah. I now I say charge for photo booths at, at their booth. Uh that's usually up to their discretion. That's usually up to now. I won't lie, out of all this, uh Mark Paul Gossett, and I won't lie, I mean, I kind of need Katie, and kind of need to see Katie to sign this. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we'll see what the other can make and flip some stuff. Um, so that is uh Comic Palooza. Uh that's in two weeks, uh 17th and 18th, uh at George R. Brown Convention Center. I uh, think Jason froze. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, there he is. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know what's up with his internet. Yeah. Um. But uh, I was just I was just saying, Jason, before you uh uh had a stop on. <laughs> uh, I kind of I kind of might need my uh my uh. Bo Yeah, I might need her. I might I might need Katie's autograph on that. Uh, might flip some. Hey, to each his own, right? Right. Um, but if not. <laughs> You know, Mark Paul Gossel might be a great second. I've got uh, my Franklin Ambassador somewhere. Um, Do you, you know what? It would be really awesome if you had a uh, Say by the Bell pop. You know what? That would be awesome. I don't have a pop, though. I don't have any of the Say by the Bell pops. Um, I don't either. I mean. But. Okay. Uh, that being said, uh, we will be there um, for sure. You see us out on the floor? You see us out on the floor? We got the Bayou City Geek shirts on. Yeah. Hey, stop by and, you know, stop us and say hi. You know, uh, we might have stickers. We might have stickers, so that'd be kind of cool. Um, We'll see about that. Uh, if nothing else, uh, come by, say hi, Uh, you know. We'll be there. Um, okay, with that, uh, episode 54 will be hopefully later this week, probably next week. I've got a special project I'm working on. So uh, with that being said, uh, we will see you on the Funny Papers. I'm your co-host, Bobby Behar, and with me as always, Jason Elliott. Peace out, everyone.